working with drag queens is made possible because of fabulous people just like you. Thank you. All the recipes featured on the series are available in our Season 1 cookbook. Check out our cookbook, t-shirts, aprons, tote bags, and more at our store. Feastoffun.com slash store. Out of all the many wonderful dishes that come from Louisiana, one of the most iconic is gumbo, a rich, flavorful soup that's literally a melting pot of cultures. The great thing about gumbo is everyone has their own favorite recipe, with most people saying their mother's is the best. But we know ours is the best. Today, we're joined by one of Chicago's hottest dancing queens, the Vixen, who, like this phenomenal dish, uses all the crayons in the box, and all the spices in the rack. Hi, this is the Vixen and you are watching Cooking with Drag Queens. I am the Vixen. I teeter on the line between a club kid and a showgirl, I believe. I love to give a really fierce look, but I never do a look at the expense of my performance. So as much as I love shoulder pads and headpieces and all of that, if it's gonna get in the way of my death drop, it's not happening. I call myself the special guest of Boys Town because I'm definitely always asked to come and be either the first person to perform to get the crowd hyped or the last person to perform to end with a bang. This is so much fun. Like, I wouldn't watch a drag show if you told me that everyone was coming out in the gown. I would go home. I really like to make people feel like anything could happen at any moment. When I go on stage, I want to, one, be empowered, but I also want to empower everybody who's watching to feel like they can be as strong and as exciting and sexy as I am. Food for me is all about heritage. It's no wonder that Vixen is such a showgirl because if you look at New Orleans and Mardi Gras and everything that it's about, it's about coming together and being fabulous and being fierce and being completely over the top and celebrating life in the best way possible. And that's what Vixen is about. Hi, Vixen. Hi. Vixen. Hi. How's everybody How are you? doing? How, are you? How you doing, baby? Welcome Mwah. to Cooking Mwah. with Drag Queens. Will, there, will it be uh, just one of you or two today? <laughs> seated? Well, I brought the girls, so that's right. <laughs> it's all three of you. It's all of us. So you're the uh, pussy popping, mm -hmm. death dropping, Duck, duck walking. walking. Duck walking queen. Yes. How, what is a duck walk? It's like... Duck walk. Well, it's... Can you to show get to us? the other side. From here, I probably would disappear. Can you, get well, can you do it on the counter? <laughs> on the counter. <laughs> do it on the counter. <laughs> Dear Lord. All right. Yeah, let's just clear Should this Should I take up my heels off? Uh, take your heels off, yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it'd be good idea. Take your heels off. All right. You so we're going to move all these little things. Okay. And you're going to just jump on the counter and we'll clean just it up. Get a little more comfortable. So, what is a, 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 a duck walk? So it's like... <laughs> <laughs> and then a, a pussy pop? You're not gonna get a pussy pop out what of here. What is that? Like, uh, you just do the splits and Well, you I don't bang. wanna break your counter. Well, you're not gonna, you're, you're light, right? How much do you weigh? <laughs> 100 pounds. You never <laughs> ask a lady what she okay. weighs. Well, I'm saying you're not gonna break the counter. Uh, it's made out of marble here. You don't know Can my pussy. Can you do a death drop from there? From here? Yeah. No, so there's not enough room. Well, can you do the pose that a death drop looks like? Dead? Yeah, well, like, like with the, uh, it's kind of like a half split, right? What is this? You bring me to your house and you're I like, play well, dead on my counter. <laughs> what kind don't of, knock over the bacon what kind of show is this? So it's wow, a death drop. there you yes. go. Yes. Quick, give her some CPR. <laughs> <laughs> mouth to mouth. <laughs> Hi, this is the Vixen. Welcome to my home. I grew up dancing and singing and I used to always sketch my own clothes and so when I started college I took a makeup class and it all kind of made sense that I can perform and now I can completely transform. This is the Columbia College Magazine 2011. I've come so far. <laughs> So far. My drag has to be functional and sexy at the same time. When you do everything that I do, disasters are right around the corner. Welcome to my kitchen. So this is probably the most scary part of doing cooking with drag queens for me because my mother's gonna kill me when you see what is in here. Are you ready? Are you ready? We have a king's cake straight from New Orleans. It looks actually really good and I'm gonna have a bite before we leave. Then we got, you know, of course always prepared. We got some chicken waiting to get deep fried later, I'm sure. 
And then looks like there's a nice bottle of rosé. Come on, mama, having the rosé on deck. Um, but I think I'm a normal person, you know? I just got a little Creole in my kitchen. In the South, they say, before you start anything, you gotta make a roux. And so we're gonna teach you guys a very simple way to make roux that is foolproof. Because a lot of people slave over a hot stove or they put the roux in the oven and it takes hours or you know mm -hmm. a long time to make it. We're going to make it in front of the camera in under 10 minutes Okay. and make it perfect. So the first step you're going to do is you're going to get yourself some bacon grease. Right here, darling. So now here we have a half cup of bacon grease. And what we're going to do is our ratio is going to be a cup of flour to one cup of oil or grease. But the thing is, with the bacon grease, you can use a whole thing of bacon. You know, it'll give your gumbo that bacony kind of flavor. But we like it a little lighter because we're doing seafood. So where's the bacon? The bacon. It's, it's in, in my here, stomach, honey. honey. <laughs> oh, you must. That was breakfast. Huh. So you're going to get yourself a nice big giant Pyrex uh, measuring glass because we're going to put that in the microwave. Mm -hmm. And you're going to take uh, half a cup of bacon grease and pour it in there. Ooh. Let's get you a spoon so you can scoop that out. Get it all out. Yeah. yeah honey. It'll come out. Oh. Okay. Yeah, but, you know, this there's is a cooking show. You got to go faster. There's one thing I'm good at. It's getting to the bottom. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so now you're going to measure how much, Mark? A half cup. Another half cup. Right in the bacon grease? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just throw all it right. right in there. Okay. Am I looking at the right side? Yeah. I'll, we'll, yeah, we'll figure it out. Boom. There you go. And then you put that in there. So the reason that we're adding the uh, grapeseed oil, you want to use an oil that's kind of like, you know, can handle high heat. So yeah. like uh, uh, baby, canola. it's going to get hot in here. Canola oil is good. Uh, safflower oil. My mama used Crisco. You got Crisco? Oh, you're going to use Crisco too. You got Crisco. And uh, you're going to use, uh, how much flour is this? That's one cup. One cup. So we're going to put that in there. And my dear, we stir that till it's nice and smooth. And so this is the beginning of your roux. So now, now you got this ready here, and it's nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get yourself two cups of what they call Trinity, although we added uh, some carrots to it, and that is uh, onions, bell peppers, and uh, celery. And you're gonna have this because this is going to cool off your roux when it gets nice and hot. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we're going to just put this in the microwave. Oh, boy. We're going to put that in for three minutes. You're going to microwave roux. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're gonna she is not going to like that. Yikes. So watch this now. Yeah. This oh. is a perfect color. Yeah. Oh. So stir that up. So yeah. stir that up. And this is a nice color. It's a little bit darker, but that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's add some of those vegetables. And now so we're just going to throw in a Does couple of the vegetables by hand because this can splash up at you. This is like a trip okay. to Chili's. Mm -hmm. Now stir it. Yeah. And don't get burned. Here, Here use that. that. Very nice. Less. And see how it starts it's, to... It's, it's getting a little darker. Chemical reaction. That Let is, me throw in these yeah, onions. Keep going. But that darkness, that's, the, that's okay. where the flavor is. Oh, this is fancy. And that is perfect roux mm -hmm. in the microwave oven. Oh, yeah. So the next step... So that's it. That's, it. that's roux. That was so easy, and it took under less than 10 minutes to make. I live 45 minutes outside of Chicago. To get to Boys Town, I take two trains, a bus, and a cab. I'm gonna make some money tonight! I start doing drag before everybody else. I get home later than everybody else. I'm about to put on some nails so that I look a little polished once I get there. I'll tell you one thing, Beyonce never had to do this. <sighs> when I show up, I'm not there on a whim. I have a purpose when I come to Boys Town. I'm not there to play. I am there to make my dream come true. So we have the roux. So roux. <laughs> We're gonna put it in this pan. Yes. Along with uh Four cups of broth, and then we're gonna add some water to it too, because there's so much there's so much flavor in this roux, yeah. and we're also gonna get flavor from the other things. So we're gonna put it in there, so we're just gonna use some chicken stock. Mm -hmm. chicken stock. Yeah. So uh, let's get the roux in there. Pour the roux. Is that oh, too is hot? Yeah, I can do it. Yeah. Here. We don't want you to get. I don't want burned. you to get burned. Okay. Nice and hot. And then uh, grab that whisk. Okay. Well, if you would, from behind. Gotcha. And then just start here, start stirring this up. There we go. 
The, the thing is, is like you want them around the same temperature because you can't have like a hot roux and then add cold stuff to it. Yeah. Yes. So mm -hmm. how many cups of broth is that so That's far? That's four cups of broth. And then we'll do four more cups of water. So should uh, this come to a boil or So yeah, well you, you don't, you want it to bring up the heat. Uh, you don't want it to boil. You never really want to boil any kind of soup. You want to have it simmer. And so it'll come up and we'll have it, uh, it'll simmer. And then also too, we're gonna add some spices. This is all the spices that goes in there. It's all the flavor. So we have bay, bay leaves. leaves. And then uh, let's see if I can remember all these. But it's, it's uh, paprika, crushed red pepper, cayenne, garlic, salt, and then we have... This is just, just oh, I'm sorry, garlic. just garlic powder, I'm sorry. And then cumin, white pepper, uh, salt, and this is Creole seasoning, black pepper, and thyme. Would you like to do the honors? Yeah. Yeah, dump it in there. Just gonna take just a big dump, dump here? Yes, right. just yeah. dump it in there. Just good good dump. Dump. Uh, and then give it a good stir. All right. I think when you combine those four things, the, the, the roux, the vegetables, the spices, and the broth, that's when you get something that starts to look like gumbo. Mm -hmm. And this get that this gets cooked for about an hour or mm -hmm. so, right? And you want to stir it every six minutes. Well, look at this. We got some meat and dewy sausage. Mm -hmm. Am I pronouncing that right? And dewy. And you dewy. Are. So one thing we uh, discovered that we really like in gumbo is a uh, sausage that's sort of loose, like on top of a pizza. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So this is kind of like reverse. Uh, tucking instead of like putting the meat into the condom and <laughs> then pressing it between your legs, you're sort of going to release the meat. Mm -hmm. So why don't you why don't you uh, show her how to do this, Mark? Um, okay, so I why is I, there a knife when you tuck? Well, you ah! just cut it like this and then you pull that out. Oh, you that's know? okay. And then you and then you just saute that. Yes. Yeah. Not my mama. Just, so, just saute. How would your mother do it? I, my mama don't touch no. What Here, why don't you, you do this one? Show us the way she would do it. Show us how, show us how you uh, break that meat apart. Uh, now she got me meat. all riled up. Uh, well, use both hands. Uh, I think I'm using the knife, bro. <laughs> there you go. Okay, all right, I got it. This is how they do uh, gender reassignment surgery. They kind of cut it open. <laughs> Did you say everything. gender reassignment surgery? Ge gender. Gender, <laughs> gender reassignment. Bruce, this is for you. All right, there you go. Pull okay. that meat out. So now you, look, just take this up. Am I doing this right, Mark? Yeah, you sure are. And you just, bloop, and then you, what is wrong with it? <laughs> that was graphic, that's what's wrong. And so this is a little hot, so you might want to turn down the heat there. You just, and Mark, you kind of like, Put it into little pieces like this, right? I like it in little pieces. So now, I think so, this is yeah. cooked enough, and then we'll put this okay. into the into our, our gumbo. I'm just gonna take this to the back here. Hey everybody, it's the Vixen. It's time for cooking with drag queens. Let's do this! Vixen, what kind of seafood do you like in your gumbo? Well, I like any food that I can see, so <laughs> what you got? <laughs> well, here I have scallops, cod, mussels, shrimp that we're gonna have to peel, and I know that you were like all about the crab. You're like, must have crab in my gumbo, must have yeah, crab in my gumbo. Yeah, you gotta have crab And here we brought, I guess this is a drag queen crab because there was a little No, little that bitch so my there. lipstick, so I yeah. ripped her arm off. That's what happened. <laughs> you can have your lipstick back now. <laughs> so you can use it like, uh, you can use the uh, crab leg to apply the lipstick. <laughs> yeah, that'll teach her. Well, why don't we uh, start off by uh, getting the fish uh, and the and the cod and the stuff ready. Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to have to cook all this stuff, right? So do you want to peel the shrimp first? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we'll peel the shrimp. And we're lucky, here you can get in the middle, uh, with the shrimp though is because it's already been deveined. So you just here, grab, grab it. And we'll Come on, we got, we, got, we got to eat, honey. You know what, I'm going to feed the children. Care. That's right. So you just, uh, have you ever peeled shrimp before? <laughs> no. No? This is the first time? Really? I think maybe when I was little, maybe my great-grandmother would put me to work, but mm -mm. Well, and, and technically, you're cooking for us. We're just kind of like barking orders at you. See, that was differently worded in the pitch. <laughs> and then we're gonna, I'm gonna break this apart. So okay, so this is out. ready to go. And don't cut your finger. Got a little shell I've right. never actually had fish in a gumbo before. 
Well, we're making it our own. That's the thing about gumbo. You can put in it whatever the hell you want to put in it. Mm -hmm. I'm telling my mama. Well, a lot of people in the South, they like to make gumbo on uh, Sunday yeah. so they can clean out their refrigerator. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so a lot of them, they just empty it out and put whatever they can find. And a lot of people put catfish in there. Yeah, catfish is nice. I like cod because cod really holds up well inside a soup. Mm -hmm. And cod's something I grew up eating. Like my dad used to make great cod soup. What else do you like to put in your gumbo, Vixen? Um, my mama. <laughs> is Bigger your answer chunks. to Bigger every chunks. question Bigger. your mom? Yes, I do not cook, honey. This is an experience. Oh. <laughs> I'm just like, there's so much yummy stuff with the uh, sausage in there that I just kind of mm -hmm. like um, usually I'm in the, the, the... Ooh, that's pretty. I'm usually in the next room making drag, but I do not imagine that my mommy is cutting fish with scissors in the neck. Uh-uh. -uh. This is weird. <laughs> but we learned that from uh, the Koreans, right? Oh yeah, we if you go to a Korean, Korean restaurant, restaurant yeah. they'll, like, they'll come over and they'll like, just like cut your food with scissors. And you're like, wow, mm -hmm. this is amazing. What do they know about gumbo? Well, <laughs> other things. They know about other things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, so here is the the shrimp, and uh, it's Mark. How can we tell that the shrimp is almost ready? It's because well, uh, you just you just kind of lightly cook it till it yeah. gets from Print. being clear to being opaque. Right. Yeah. yeah and then nice you want to just, just throw it in this bowl for when you're done. Okay. Out. And then we'll just kind of get this assembly. Is this line a good working. place to? Because yeah. it's going to cook a little yeah. bit further, yeah. right? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. And then we'll throw the scallops in too. Okay, throw that in. Now those I like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who doesn't like scallops? Yeah. Especially fresh scallops yeah. inside a mm -hmm. soup. They're very tender and sweet. Might want to put a little more oil in there too. Yeah. Sure. Now the thing about the gumbo is that a lot of the oil separates when you're making that soup. Yeah. So you can, you can uh, take it out. No. And make it a lot lighter. I'm telling my mama, you leave everything. Your mom, in. Your, it's see. your mom is not here right now. <laughs> you're a grown up. You are a grown man, and you're gonna learn. Well, how to what did you call me? <laughs> oh, you're an adult. Don't misgender her. Yeah. Okay, so we're cooking these mussels here. They'll not look nice. You're gonna be doing this. Come on. Just let it sit for a second. Don't don't don't. Don't fuck Yeah, it just let it sit for a second. Let it kind of get some brown, some caramelization there. Yeah, like me. Mm-hmm. So, uh... I'm throw these in there, too. Yeah. You put, why are you doing that? We're gonna cook them a little bit. Don't you want to cook them a little bit? I think they're already cooked, aren't they? No, those aren't cooked. Oh, they're not? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. But Hold you on. boil crab legs. Well, you can get them heated, and then we'll throw them into the gumbo. Finish them in the gumbo. But it's okay to get a little heat on there. Oh, all of a sudden, now she knows how to cook. I know <laughs> my mama boils the damn crab legs. Well, oh, this is going. It's gonna go into the gumbo. All right. We're gonna see. We gonna we're gonna see? cook this, this these in there actually. Now what are those? These are mussels, mm -hmm. and you check to make sure that they're all good. If they're closed, if they're open up a little bit, you can pinch them, and if they stay closed, then they're good. But it's just not worth like if there's any risk of yeah. of a mussel being bad, just toss it out. Yeah. It's okay. just not worth it, you know. Now Put I can stir it. Yeah. All right. Don't that look good? Here, mm -hmm. you see a, a spatula. Yeah. So you need the right tool and kind of dig it. See. There yeah. you go. Flip it over like it was a burger. I don't know why you're you think... You're on Bob's Burger now, Why girl. do you think I flip burgers? I do not flip burgers. You've never made a hamburger in your entire life? Do you or see these pancake. nails? You see these nails? Well, you've seen somebody mm -hmm. make a pancake. Yeah, but they do it in the kitchen. I'm so not this is what it. you want to get. You see how that is nice and caramelized there? And I think that's good. Why don't you take all that and toss that in with the shrimp? All right. Is that bowl okay? Yep. Yeah, just okay. throw it in there. Just throw it in there. I don't want to reach over because, oh. no, you, you know, my hair. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you'll be very, you're flammable. Yeah, I'm a cotton ball waiting to happen. All right. Now, what's the difference between Cajun food and Creole food, Mark? Well, the Cajun food is, uh, is typically it's more spicy than Creole mm -hmm. food. They say, and also too, Creole food often uses tomato, whereas Cajun isn't necessarily, uh, they don't use tomato, at least not traditionally. Nowadays, yeah. they, they probably do. And but the, the Creole, the, the Creole are... originally were uh, the, uh, the mixture of the French and Spanish, and then also too with the, the African, and then Cajuns were people from Canada 
who got kicked out of Canada by the British, and then they went back to France, and then from France they came over to uh, to Spain or to uh, the co New Orleans, which was a Spanish colony at the time. Yeah. So, so this is good. Yeah. Okay. Let's so it. put it in there. Now, do we want to uh, do the vegetables now, or do we want to throw yeah, these? Yeah, do the vegetables. Or do we want to throw this right into the gumbo? No, you're going to do your vegetables, okay. and then that goes last. Okay, so let's do our veggies then. Okay. okay. I'm going to grab those. So, this is my ridiculous episode of Drag Quarters. A lot of my stuff, I do myself. One of the craziest things I've ever done was this gig right here. It is literally hand-drawn with a Sharpie leopard spots that I did all myself. It took about three days and it was for one of my pageants, Miss Gay Juliet, which was a lot of fun. This is from Neverland's Purity Ball. I gave a little bit of Grace Jones with this one. It was completely made out of wire. Everybody thinks it's wire hanger, but I spent real money on real PVC wire, so please note that this was expensive. <laughs> that was what? so ridiculous. <laughs> this is not ridiculous. This is couture. You better get into that. It's a man. It's a woman. It's a man. So the next step here is you're going to get yourself your okra. And this is about a cup and a half of fresh okra sliced, right? Mm -hmm. And what are these, Mark? These are nopal, nopales. Uh, if you guys might remember, we used these when we made uh, that stew with Lady Bunny. And it's, these are much, they're very similar. They're both kind of like mucilaginous vegetables. Woo! Whoa. <laughs> yeah, stand back. Sorry. Throw that in there. All right. And so it's it's basically it's cactus, and it's it has a it's very similar to okra in many ways, and it holds up to each other. What? Why? Did, did you just put cactus in my okra? Yes, I did. But cactus is you you put cactus in my okra. I put cactus in your okra. <laughs> Babe? Listen, don't you have a Mexican boyfriend? Yes, but and he makes the tacos and I make the okra. Yeah, okay. but didn't he make you nopales the other day? Yes, but it wasn't in gumbo, it was in... Well, it is today. My God, fix it. Try something new. Live a you little. Know? I'm telling my mama. <laughs> Tell your mother how good it is, the nopales in this. And then she'll be like, oh, I okay. never thought of that. And I never will. <laughs> I'm going to try it. I'm gonna try it. So mm -hmm. this, the only thing I'm, uh, I would recommend is that the nopales take a lot longer to cook than the gum, the, the okra. The okra is a lot lighter. So yeah, it'd yeah. probably be better to cook the uh, nopales first. No. It was good. I do like it. Mm -hmm. I just don't know about it in my you'll, gumbo. You'll see when, it, you'll see. Trust. All right. Mm -hmm. So these are our mucilaginous vegetables. Okra and nopales. <laughs> That mm -hmm. means slimy, don't it? Can you say that, mucilaginous? Slimy. <laughs> like slimy vegetables. See, I think that the nopales are actually cooking faster than the okra. Okay, so this is good, though. Yeah. So we're going to put these all together. Yeah. I really worked hard to find my place in Boys Town. A lot of people refer to me as the most underrated queen in Chicago, and that's because I fight for everything that I have. You know you give your all when you get blood, sweat, and if I lose tonight, you'll see the tears. I started drag as an amateur and worked my way up and fought and won competitions and broke a toenail off and it took a year to grow back. I worked really hard to get everything that I have. And I don't have everything yet, but I'm gonna get it. So this is the Ooh. stuff we made earlier today because the other stuff is still cooking. Ooh, that yeah, got hot that real quick. So the thing you want to do here is you're going to notice that the oil's boiled up to the top. That's the flavor. And you're going to take that Leave out. It. <sighs> because this creates a that right. it's a soup. And so that's the thing, when you think about like all that bacon grease and all the oil in there, yes, a lot of it does tasty. come. tasty. And, yes. and of course, you can keep it on there if you want. You can add it later uh, back on. You can add it back on if that's, if, if that's, if that's what you desire. that's your desired, taste. But that's what you like. There's a lot of fat in this. There was a lot of fat in this one, huh? Yeah. You're getting almost all the fat back. We're going to cook this for a little bit just because with the fresh mussels. So let's pop the mussels in first. Okay. Those mussels are right behind you. And so we're just gonna oh, put those whole in. Those. Now, the other thing too is like these, these shells are also gonna add flavor to it as well. Here we go. Do you wanna put those in? <laughs> I feel like we're taking you 
to like to your death or something. Because when we first told her it was going to be muscle, she was like, "No, oh my god, just, this is you've never eaten these before." I've eaten mussels, but not in gumbo. Just gumbo. It's very put all that juice in there too. Oh, the juice you want, but oh, you don't yeah. want the fat. Oh yeah, the juice has the. Flavor. What does the juice taste like? Uh, does it taste better than the fat? <laughs> You can have, there is still fat in here. Mm. There's plenty of fat, and there's, listen, that fat is not going anywhere. You can put it back into yes. your soup if you want to. Yeah. You can put it in your purse, okay. take it home. Mm -hmm. So there you go, and you're gonna put that to simmer with a lid. But, and then, uh, yeah, we'll cook this for just a couple minutes, and then we'll throw everything else in, and then uh, we'll just actually put a lid on it, and then just, we'll turn it off, because we just want to let it uh, sit for about minutes. Do you want to put minutes. your seafood in now? Uh, yeah, we can put it in. Okay. All right. And the veggies, then we'll turn it off. Okay. Oop. Your vixen. All right. Get it yes. all in there, baby. <laughs> if I had a dollar for every time, I never mind. <laughs> You'd be a hooker, girl. I'd if be, you had a dollar every I'd time. I'd be very rich, <laughs> is what I'd be. And nothing wrong with being a hooker. Or rich. <laughs> Just yeah. get that last in there. Let me that get these. Good juice. Go for it. And this is the Nepales and the okra together. And we're just going to stir that up a little bit, right? Mm hmm. Good. And put the lid. Get a little last dose of heat. And we'll put the lid on it and then just let it sit for about 10, 15 minutes. And then we're going to eat. Mmm. So this is seafood gumbo. If you want to look, the okra has thickened the soup. Mm-hmm. And you can see some of the sausage and the crab. And the, the shrimp. And the yeah. mussels in there, yeah. too. Yeah, they're in there. <laughs> so we're going to give you a challenge because we have some green onions here, some parsley. Okay. Some lemon wedges. All right. Some cooked brown rice. Ooh, that's cute. We usually do white rice, but I think that's going to be smart. I think that's going to be pretty. I'm glad you approved finally of <laughs> one thing. <laughs> and then some uh, toasted French bread. Yes. Mm, little baguettes. Came out side. nice. Yeah. So we want you to, since you're a drag queen who is always arranging things in a masterful way, mm -hmm. if you can uh, plate the food in a beautiful way for us. Okay. Well, you know, you're missing something. What, what, what should missing? we get? You're missing something. What's that? Give, give me a second. <laughs> you had that inside you all along? Ooh. <laughs> a little Tabasco, <laughs> so a little hot sauce. Yeah. Mama don't play that. Mm -hmm. We don't need a little, little color. Look, okay. Look Got color. hot sauce in your bag, your swag. Hot sauce in my boob swag. <laughs> yeah. All right, give me these plates. Okay, make so it here's cute. the plate. Okay. Right. Here, I'm gonna situate. Okay. All right. Let's Stand back. It's okay. going down. All right. Okay. Gonna get a little all around. Yeah, it's gonna right. get garnish the edge. Yes. All right. It's a complete waste of time, but it looks good, just like a drag queen. Yes. Okay. All right. Those just fell right in the middle, so that was useless. But I, th I think if you put a little hot sauce on the side of the plate, <laughs> that way you can just when you're sopping it up real nice. Mm -hmm. It gives you a bite. Yeah, it gives you a bite. Oh, I like okay. that. Yeah, so that way. So you're kind of decorating the plate first. Yes, but it's functional now. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Now we're going to do this rice. Okay. Use this just like that. Yes. Get it in here. Make sure we got enough. I like a lot of rice because that way it... You're a carb girl. It turns yes. the soup into a meal. Yes. Okay. All you need. Then we're going to do that. All right, give me the spoon. Okay. I like to put the spoon in first, so the first time you pick it up, you get a scoop. All right. Okay. Hold on. I almost got a muscle in my spoon. <laughs> How'd that get in there? <laughs> oh, you don't want a muscle? I'll do one muscle on the side. All right. Just for you. Okay. I got to get some of the good stuff. Now, this is always the argument in my house is... Uh -huh. Who took all the shrimp out of the 
You could, you could have more shrimp. Add more shrimp. Well, no, I mean, I'm just letting you know what goes on in my Oh, because uh, 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 somebody hogs up all the... Uh, the somebody else takes six pieces of shrimp and yes. somebody else is left with two. Yes. Mark, will you pass me a me. plate? Mm -hmm. I take it all. And you are Pasta's just... not waiting. Oh, yeah, yeah well, wait. I just wanted to get us oh, all fair, served fair, here. She's hungry. Okay. Wait, see, I can't even get y'all little muscle things out. They don't want to come. All right. They don't like you because you've been mocking them for Well, they days. shouldn't be looking like they're looking. Okay. All right. And bam. Okay. Bam. Faster here. What you trying to say? So you didn't take a piece of crab. We got the crab just for you. We got the crab just for you. Here's the claw. Where's the one with the hand? Yeah. Oh, well, take that one. Let me find that bitch that stole my lipstick. I think this is her right here. Yep. Gotcha. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, teach you a lot. Put you right next to the muscle mm -hmm. in that way. Yes. All right. Yeah. Will you serve me some? Yeah. You want I don't some? want any rice. You don't want the rice? Uh, no rice for me. Okay. Rice. Why you don't want the rice? I'm on a carb. I'm on a low carb diet. You what can also that? put some, a put a lime rice? or a lemon wedge on the side. For what? Uh, because it's seafood. It has a nice flavor to it. You, Mark, will you pass me the green onions and some of the absolutely. toasted French bread? Yeah, give me some bread. And green onions on top. And a nice Your look. filet powder. I thought we put that in there already. No, you put the filet powder on top. You know what I'm putting on top? Hot sauce. Mm-hmm. You want a muscle. I know you want a muscle. Give me a couple of those muscles. Mm-hmm. I know you muscle daddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You want a crab? I do want a crab. I got you a crab. See, I'm so hungry, I lost my lady voice. <laughs> would you like a crab, darling? Give me more of those nopales, too, would you? Who? Nopales. No, no what? The cactus. cactus. Okay. Just say cactus. The cactus. It's cactus. That drain it. But yes. I like to, I use a spoon with a hose That's in it. That's good, baby. That's good? We That's got good. it. I'm starving. Okay, so, so here then you put is... a little filet powder on top? Want some? Yeah. Do you want some? Oh, you can put a lot I, of it. Too. I got this. Oh, this really? is. You can get very aggressive yeah. with this. Yep, I'm aggressive. Okay, ah. so here is seafood gumbo with mussels served with brown rice and toasted French bread. Have a taste. See what you think. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that's so good. This is good. You know, there's something very energizing about eating this meal because it's like there's there's so much joy in it that spice gets you going mm -hmm. i got the spice mm -hmm. y'all playing oh do, do you want some of the fat back in there <laughs> yeah i can like, put put some of that just, fat back yeah, on just, there. Yeah. you can drizzle it on top just a little yeah instead of the filet give me the gravy yes yeah, yeah get on the bread, mm -hmm. on the bread? sop it up okay yes. and look it's got a nice color you want more? no that's oh. not <laughs> How is it? it? So, so eat some of it and tell us what you think. It's good. I like it. I mean, it ain't my mama's gumbo. It's not made with Crisco, huh? Mm-mm. <laughs> and it's but it's still made with love. Mm. Oh. Mm. Well, Vixen, we mm -hmm. love you. I love you too. We adore you, mm -hmm. and we want to uh, give you a medal mm -hmm. of acknowledgement for your efforts. Yes. For me. Yes. Oh, and yes. your, your, uh... It matches my outfit. Because at least you tried. <laughs> <laughs> here, you gotta flip it over Oh, here. sorry. There you go. Oh, it matches me. So here it says, to the vixen whose death drops give us life. Yes. Thank you so much Thank for Thank you, this. guys. Oh, mm. oh, I also have a gift for you, too. Uh -oh. oh, we do. I got you some swag. Yes. Some cooking with Drag Queen swag. There's a tote bag. Ooh. And then open it up, and inside, you'll get a, a, a nice t-shirt. I love it. Look how sparkly that is. Sparkle Thank pink you. diamonds. Now I don't have to put my hot sauce in my titties. No, now you got it in a bag That's swag. It. And when you teach your mom how to make roux in the microwave, you can wear your Oh, I'm cooking with drag queen. Is this paper. gonna protect me from getting my ass beat? <laughs> <laughs> and remember, folks, if you can't cook for yourself, how the hell are you gonna cook for somebody else?
gay man. Can I get <laughs> can I get a gay man up in here? Gay man. Gay man. And bon appetit. Bon appetit. Bon appetit, y'all. This is so good. There won't be a time when I'm not performing in my life in some way. Ten years from now, I'm still going to be doing drag. I'm still going to be doing death drops. Maybe not so many, but I'm still going to find a way to keep the crowd entertained because it's what I do. It's what completes me. And nothing's going to ever stop me from being a vixen.